Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. It was fun to see all of the major manufacturers who were supported by their home company in Japan, with many of those Japanese personnel on scene to add extra emphasis to new products. And some of these folks were not just Japanese engineers. Some of them were engineers that actually developed some of these products. So let's take a look and see what uh, George and Tommy have on a brief interview of Mr. Tori, who those of you that have, as I do, the Kenwood TS-990 or a 590 or many of those great Kenwood products, let's see what this design engineer has uh, brought to Hamvention 18. Gordo here for Ham Nation, and look at this, the new Kenwood TS-890, and here is the chief engineer. Welcome to Dayton, and wow, what a terrific radio. Oh, this is just terrific. Um, how much power output? Uh, the power output is uh, 100 watt. Uh, 990 is 200, but this radio is 100 watt. And the power supply is 12 volts, and we love that. Yes, uh, this number shows uh, this is the 800. You know 870, you know? It's a 100 external power supply, same as. Very good. So it tunes in the 6-meter band as well all the way down to 160. Yes, uh, from uh, 160 to 6-meter, uh, but the European version has a 70 megahertz, ah. but uh, uh, cannot use here because you don't permit 70 megahertz. On the rear, I see two antenna jacks for antenna A and B. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. That's correct. And I also see a BNC. Is that for a transverter? No, no, no. This BNC connector is uh, just behind the rear panel. Uh, it's a uh, uh, input for the uh, uh, oscillator, ten, oh. 10 megahertz oscillator input, okay? That is terrific. And um, <clears throat> software-defined capabilities? Uh, everybody asks me, is this uh, software kind of uh, SDR? But uh, this radio, basically, uh, not software-defined radio. Uh, please look at this number. So, to achieve this number, I must use a down conversion to achieve the good characteristic. Wow, it looks exciting. And of course, there's a very popular waterfall. And how large is that display? Uh, display size is 7 inch, same as a TS-990. Wow, well, I have the TS-990 that you have blessed. And we so much appreciate all the hard work. It must be a job to put something like this together. Are you regularly on the air also in Japan? Ah, uh, but sometimes not so active. But I use uh, not actual radio, but uh, KNS, Kennel Network Command System. So I operate my radio in the office from my home, <laughs> just uh, from the Internet. That is terrific. And tell us a little bit about the receiver one band at a time, correct? Yes, this uh, receiver is a single band, same as a TS-870. Uh, if you need a dual receiver, I recommend 990. <laughs> and I would recommend the 990 as well. But wow, this one is uh, much lighter because, of course, no power supply built in. Yes, yes. Uh, the, the weight is uh, 15 kg. Uh, of course, uh, much uh, uh, lighter than a 990. <laughs> they have uh, internal power supply. Oh, yes, I know when I pick up a 990. And uh, tell us about the cooling. Do you have one fan that cools the finals? Uh, uh, we use uh, two cooling fans. But this radio, uh, this size, and the whole part is the uh, army chassis. So a very big, big chassis. So uh, fun is uh, hard to uh, move. Well, it sounds like here's a great radio for the maximum field day results. How much current does it draw on transmit? Uh, 18, 20 amps? Uh, the spec is maximum uh, 20.5, same as the other 100-watt radios, same as. 
Terrific. And anything you want to add, want to talk about that this brand new Kenwood 890 does for the ham radio operators here at Dayton? Um, I want to say uh, my uh, 90s, 990, 890, 590, I call it a TS X90 series. Ah. I dedicate it to the uh, real DXs. All down conversion, very high performance. That's all. Wow. Well, we can't wait to hear it on the air. And, of course, the big question is, will we have this maybe at the end of the year, or is it still maybe two years out? Oh, Mr. Gordon, please look at here, coming this summer. Oh, wow. And uh, you have uh, much more information uh, beginning of the uh, uh, August. Not only this information. Well, pretty exciting here at uh, the Kenwood booth at the Dayton 2018 Hamvention. And um, I can't wait to uh, start playing radio. And wow, what a job you have. What a fun job to be able to design and see this radio finally get on the air. Yeah, thank you very much. Nice talking. Hi. And would you tell us all of the other radios that you uh, remember, uh, the high frequency radios that you have designed? You've done uh, many, many, many. I can't remember the word. Many radio. Because I uh, work in Kenwood uh, 1980. <laughs> oh, boy, isn't that something? Well, you heard it live from uh, the engineer that uh, thought it up and made it. Thanks to ham operators. Uh, so much appreciate all your hard work. And if you would, give your name and call sign so when we hear you on the air. Okay. Uh, my name is uh, Toshio Tori, uh, came from uh, Yokohama, and uh, my course on Japan, America, 6 uh, Queen X-ray Whiskey, Portable 1. Thank you very much. And 73. 73 to our Ham Nation viewers. Wow, that was fun interviewing Mr. Tori, and he's been with Kenwood since 1980. Wow, a lot of different radios.